हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर विनोद कुमार आडवाणी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स द भोपाल स्कूल ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द पर्सनल फाइनेंस एंड प्लानिंग रिलेटेड विथ टैक्स प्लानिंग ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ टैक्स प्लानिंग दिस टैक्स प्लानिंग बेसिक इज for only individual person who want to save their tax who want to minimize their tax liability so here we are going to cover some important topics of tax planning of an individual <clears throat> here we have the list of the topics we are going to cover under this particular tax planning first of all we will discuss the concept of tax planning next we will discuss the features main characteristics of the tax planning on the basis of this particular definition and concept third we will start the sources of tax planning how we can do the process of tax planning what is the matter what is the subject that is source of tax planning next we will start the objectives of tax planning why tax planning is made why it is required for individual that is objective or you can say aims of the tax planning after that we will move to the scope of the tax planning tax planning includes which subject matter what we have to do in tax planning in what decision we can involve the criteria we can involve the functions of tax planning that is scope of the tax planning finally we will look in short the methods of tax planning how many methods we have for the tax planning dear student first of all we will try to understand what is tax planning it is the basic concept of the tax planning tax planning is a process to minimize the tax liability of individual how to minimize a tax liability of individual at the end of every previous year before we are going to pay income tax to the government each and every individual want to minimize the tax liability and tax planning is a legal way to minimize or even zero tax liability of individual this particular process known as tax planning definitely tax is the part of the cost of a particular person or you can say the manufacturing person when the tax is reduced definitely the cost is also reduced so tax planning is a particular process in a legal way in a moral way taking the advantages of tax law to reduce the tax liability of a particular person at the end of a year dear student now we have some features or characteristics of the tax planning on the basis of our definition and concept first of all we have this particular feature it is a moral and legal way there is nothing illegal or immoral in the tax planning because all the process all the methods of the tax planning approved by the government approved by the tax law next the main aim that we already discussed main aim of the tax planning is to reduce the tax liability of individual savings the tax of an individual all the process all the functions of tax planning are related with a particular tax law on the basis of a particular tax law for the tax planning of an individual the laws we have to use that is income tax act 1961 the provisions of income tax law is the base of the tax planning next we have a special knowledge requirement yes a special knowledge requirement means a particular person have a good knowledge of tax laws benefits and deductions can do the tax planning a particular common man cannot involved in the tax planning it need special knowledge of tax laws and tax rules next we have for saving the tax we have to save some money for the family for the future and make some investment according to the tax rules according to the tax provisions so each and every step of tax planning needs your savings and your investments also next we have leads to capital formation once we involved in the savings and investment definitely it create 
capital for the company. It is the base for the economic growth of the society and economic growth of the country. So capital formation is the result of process of tax planning. Lastly, we have this process can be short term or can be long term. If we are doing the tax planning at the end of year to save the tax for that year, it is short term. Once we are doing the tax planning, we are creating wealth in form of savings, in form of investment for five years, 10 years, three years, it will be long term. So it can be short term and also it can be for long term period. Dear student, our next topic is the source or contents of the tax planning. Means tax planning matter is tax loss or any other. Definitely tax planning is based on tax loss. Tax loss are the main source or content of the tax planning with help of the deductions, exemptions, benefits, we are going to involved in the process of the tax planning. Actually, tax planning is to get the maximum benefit of all these exemptions, benefits, reliefs, deductions that is given, that is prescribed by the government under the Income Tax Act. So, Income Tax Act, provisions of Income Tax Act is the basic, is the main source of the tax planning process most important topic of this particular tax planning matter is objectives of tax planning why tax planning require what are the benefits of tax planning why we have to do tax planning here we have the first reason of this this tax planning process is the key point of personal finance and planning yes personal finance and planning we cannot perform without tax planning. It is the integral part of tax planning for an individual for personal finance and planning. We have retirement planning, we have investment planning along with tax planning. So tax planning is a very important portion of personal finance and planning. Next objective we have achieving the financial goal in a most efficient manner once you are saving tax definitely it will give you it will give you help support in achieving your financial targets your goals whether in form of education of the children whether in form of retirement planning whether in form of saving for future purpose definitely tax planning helps in all these purpose in all these targets in all these goals next we have channelization of taxable income to different investment instruments yes once you are saving the tax by investment in national saving certificate or lic policies your income your taxable income converted into savings and savings converted into useful returnable investment for future so tax planning gives us investment opportunities, investment avenues. Next we have, we are going to use investments made by tax planning for our needs and also to collect the funds for retirement benefits, retirement time. So tax planning also important to collect the funds for the long term and for the retirement purpose. Next we have that we discuss in the first slide tax planning is make to reduce the tax liability that is the basic aim of this process next and last we have yes with the tax planning we can achieve the economic stability because tax planning leads to capital formation and steady growth of the income of a country or a society so these are the main objectives of the tax planning definitely it is very useful for the society and the economic growth of the country dear student now we will look at the scope of the tax planning what are the criteria what are the areas involved in the tax planning means what we have to do in tax planning and for which particular area that particular function belongs first of all this is a process that is starting before the accrual of the income. 
the ideal tax planning will be will be continuously simultaneously with your earning of income your earning of the income so tax planning process start with earning of your income next we have tax planning is always based on the source of the income for example if we are doing tax planning for a salaried person and if we are doing tax planning for a business class family businessman totally we have the difference between these two tax planning because their source of earning is different the salaries is totally different from income from business because of the calculation method so tax planning for a salaried person and tax planning for a businessman is different because the source are source of income are different next we have we can use the concepts of the tax planning for searching out to choose a particular business format for example when we have the option to start a business as a individual or we have the option to start a business as a partnership we have to discover the tax point of view from the tax point of view which organization is better so tax planning helps us to choose the better organization for newly started business for a newly started business we can choose the location of the business also with the help of the tax planning why because in some areas for example backward areas backward states northeastern states we have we have tax rebates tax deductions under income tax act so when you are going to start business in this particular area you will get the benefit of income tax exemptions that is the choice of the location of your plant or your business or your factory next residential status of a person residential status also matters when we are calculating the total income so tax planning also involve the residential status to save the tax next we have choice to buy or lease the asset when we are going to purchase a fixed asset a particular asset involves huge cost we have two choices we can purchase this particular asset outright base or we can take that particular asset on the rent on the hire from a particular external person now with the rules of the tax with the rules of the rent depreciation interest cost we can decide whether we have to purchase that particular asset or taking on rent whichever is beneficiary whichever is beneficiary next for designing the capital structure of a company we can also use the concepts of the tax planning the best capital structure is to give the maximum return to the shareholders or equity shareholders so with the use of the concept of the tax planning we can decide the best tax structure the ratio of debt and equity in a particular capital structure this is the scope or subject matter of tax planning all these areas are covered under tax planning process dear student now finally we will look at some methods of tax planning we have four methods for the tax planning first we will look at the short term tax planning when a particular individual start tax planning at the end of a previous year to save the tax it is known as a short term tax planning why it is short term that is very easy because it is only for the saving of the tax in the current year in the current year so it is short term tax planning related with only a particular year next we have long term tax planning when we are involved in a tax planning process for more than one year two years three years five years 10 years it is known as long term tax planning the scope of long term tax planning the process of long term tax planning is is slight complicated as compared to short term tax planning next we have permissive tax planning permissive tax planning means taking the permissions grants of the government into the consideration for a particular decision related with tax planning permissive means permitted by the government it is permissive tax planning for example 
we are starting a business a new plant in a backward state in a backward area so we have permission for tax exemption for next five years or 10 years it is permissive tax planning last and final purposive or objective based tax planning in this particular tax planning we have some objective we have some aim to achieve that particular objective that particular aim we start our tax planning for example i want to save money for my retirement life then i have to make tax planning according to that particular purpose my purpose is to save money for the retirement so it is known as purposive or objective based tax planning dear student in this particular session we covered some important basics of tax planning we understand in this particular session the concept of tax planning the features of tax planning the objectives of tax planning the scope of the tax planning and finally we take the topic methods of tax planning i hope now all of you aware regarding the basics of tax planning basic points of the tax planning these points will help you to minimize your tax liability when you start your income earning that is very important to save the tax save your income from the tax to invest for future purpose for family purpose thank you